In an industry where celebrities come and go all the time, it's actually difficult to stumble upon someone whose talent isn't mere publicity. That being said, there's still hope for those of us who want to support unbelievably talented people, while also enjoying the wholesome and compelling music which comes with it. That could well explain Karolina Pratsenko's rise to fame at such a young age, who in 2020 broke into the internet with her violin covers of viral songs. However, besides her unbelievably prodigious talent, Karolina's charisma and love for music was what caught people's attention back then and helped her achieve international fame. So, knowing that maybe it's been a while since you last heard about Carolina, we bring to you all details about her whereabouts, her current projects, and where her still young career is heading. For that and more, stay tuned. If you loved Carolina Pratsenko's renditions of the pop songs which brought her internet fame, then you'll be pleased to know that she's actively still sharing her incredible talent with the world. Even years later, she was 12 years old back in 2020 when her covers of the song Despacito gained her many millions of views on a variety of platforms, but even achieving huge fame at such a young age wasn't enough to satisfy her goals. Nowadays, she's just as active as when she started, offering concerts in Santa Monica, sharing her videos on YouTube and Facebook, collaborating with artists such as Daniel Vitali and Oscar Stembridge, and overall enjoying her love for music. That being said, Carolina's internet fame hasn't stopped her from being taken seriously as an artist. For a start, in 2022 she performed at a seat at the table, a feminist event in which Carolina's impressive talent reached the hearts of attendants, as described by the host Elle magazine. She moved some to tears. It's likely they were compelling ones. All in all, Carolina's skyrocketing career is unlikely to stop anytime soon. One of the biggest important career milestones achieved by Carolina is performing on TV with one of her biggest inspirations, the violinist and dancer Lindsay Sterling. This happened during a presentation in The Kelly Clarkson Show in early 2022 and was a big surprise for Carolina, who didn't expect to find Sterling in the show. After being surprised mid-interview by her role model, they performed Sterling's song Guardian together on stage. They hadn't met in person prior to it, but Sterling admitted to knowing Carolina through YouTube, My favorite thing about watching your videos is that you sparkle. She said, after being asked by Clarkson. That being said, Carolina doesn't necessarily need TV to be praised by the public. Her street performances have got the attention of people all around the world, including Elena B. Templitz, the US ambassador to Sri Lanka, who praised Carolina's violin rendition of the song Manik Maj Heath, very famous in said South Asian country, such a testament as to music as the universal language Teplitz espoused in late 2021. Carolina also took part in 2020's Prodigy's A Million Dreams concert in support of Gardenia Jungle Entertainment programs and collected funds in support of Ukraine in early 2022, using her still rising fame in good causes. Unsurprisingly, Carolina's online presence is massive, just as her audience. Nowadays, she has two active YouTube channels, the main being Carolina Protsenko Violin, in which most of her viral music covers have been shared, and to date has accumulated almost 7.5 million subscribers and over 1.3 billion views. Her second channel, Carolina Protsenko Vlog, started in 2019, serves as her platform to share more personal, less music-centered videos. Despite not having a large following as her main channel, Carolina's vlog videos have gained her over 200,000 subscribers. Just as impressively in July 2022, Carolina's official Facebook page hit the 10 million fans mark, and her Instagram page is close to reaching a million followers. As well, Carolina often appears on the Protsenko family channel, including Protsenko's group covers, and also addressing some of the family's personal topics. Despite being an internet sensation, many people still don't know who Karolina Protsenko is and where she comes from. Karolina was actually born in Ukraine in 2008. Her family moved to the US when she was only 6 years old. Karolina then started taking violin classes. I just wanted to play an instrument and my parents asked me, what do you want to play? A violin or a flute? And I just picked violin without knowing what it was, as she admitted in The Ellen Show in 2019. Regardless of how uncommon it is for such a young girl to develop such a great passion for playing an instrument, in Carolina's case, her skills mostly result from her dedication. She practices violin two or three hours a day, and has learned over 250 songs 
and has learned over 250 songs by year, around two songs every week for her weekend performances. Considering Carolina's talent and musical genius, it's unsurprising to discover that the Pritsenko family is highly music-oriented. Her father, Nikolai, sings and plays guitar, while Carolina's mother, Ella, plays piano and sings, often sharing music covers on the family's YouTube channel. According to online reports, Nikolai is a native of Ukraine and studied at National Pedagogical Dragomanov University in Kyiv. Ella's educational background hasn't been revealed so far, but she was born in Russia and is a cinematographer, also known for her street-recorded viral videos, playing the piano as her daughter plays the violin, some of which have accumulated several millions of views online. Regarding her siblings, Carolina has two brothers named Leo and Nicholas, born in 2018 and 2020 respectively, both holding American citizenship. According to a video shared by Nick and Ella on YouTube, adapting to their new life in the US was hard due to the language differences, but in the course of two years they became fluent in English. As well, they admitted to feeling welcomed by Americans and attracting many compliments, which was not a usual custom in their native countries. In short, that Pertsenko family had a good time in the US, finding acceptance regardless of the initial obstacles in their way, as with many migrants. While some people knew about Carolina when her cover of Luis Fonsi's Despacito went viral on the internet, the truth is that it's hard to pinpoint when exactly she became famous. However, her first audience consisted of people who saw her busking in California streets and shared videos online back in 2017, unknowingly helping her to become a star in no time. Carolina finally joined the internet in 2018, and soon her YouTube and Facebook videos were being shared by people all around the world. By the time she appeared in The Ellen Show in 2020, her content had over 250 million views. Throughout her still young career, Carolina has made more than her fair share of important TV appearances. The first was in The Ellen Show in 2019 when she performed Post Malone's Sunflower and was briefly interviewed by Ellen DeGeneres to whom Carolina revealed that she was saving her earnings from busking for college and getting a puppy. Carolina's experience in the show was documented in a video on her vlog channel, in which she revealed that DeGeneres gifted her $1,000 on top of a blue violin, for exhibition only. That same year, Carolina appeared in Access Live, in which host showed her a special message from Lindsay Sterling, revealing that she'd watched many of her videos. Little did Carolina know that three years later, not only would her dream of meeting her biggest inspiration become a reality in The Kelly Clarkson Show, but also that she would get to share the stage with her. Behind every talented person, there's always a great teacher leading the way. This is no different for Carolina as her violin teacher is Sam Fisher, an eminence himself. Besides being a violin instructor, Fisher is a recording artist and performer who graduated with a degree in music from the University of Southern California and holds a prestigious Juilliard School master's degree. As his profile on Colburn School website states, he's a concert master of the Opera Santa Barbara and Desert Symphony, and has also performed with a wide variety of local Los Angeles orchestras, such as Riverside County Philharmonic, Golden State Pops Orchestra, and the Caltech Occidental Chamber Orchestra, just to name a few. On top of playing his music for several Hollywood productions and video game soundtracks, Fisher has worked with many famous violinists such as Joseph Silverstein, Martin Beaver, and Anna Kiko Myers, on top of forming part of Music to Save the World, a nonprofit organization which provides musical education programs to non-privileged communities. Needless to say, Carolina is very thankful to Fisher for passing down his knowledge to her and has even often featured him on her channel. While it's almost unheard of of a child to release their own album, it's already clear that Carolina isn't like most kids out there. At only 9 years old in July 2018, she released her first album, My Dream, which featured her rendition of 12 songs, including Let It Go from the movie Frozen and My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. Only a couple of months later, her second album, Fly, was released with 11 songs. At 10 years of age, Carolina's third album, Sunflower, featured some of her most famous covers such as Girls Like You, by Maroon 5 and Shallow by the film A Star Is Born. While she kept busy working on her covers, two years passed before the release of her fourth album in 2022, entitled Finally Together, featuring duos with the Italian saxophonist Daniel Vitali. While only four of Carolina's official albums have been released so far, 
there's at least 200 cover songs listed under her name on Last.fm. Though according to the thousands of videos she's shared on YouTube, that number isn't even close to the many covers she's played in her young life. For those who have never seen Karolina Protsenko's street performances in person, the question of whether she earns money from them is always there. As confirmed by Karolina in The Ellen Show in 2019, she indeed earns money from her busking. It's really unknown how much Carolina earns through YouTube and Facebook, but according to some online sources, her net worth is around 1 million as of mid-2022, though this fortune mostly comes from releasing her albums and from concerts. Carolina has been inspired by many musicians, however, probably her biggest influence is Lindsay Sterling, who just like Carolina, became known on the internet thanks to her immense talent as a violinist. Sterling incorporates rock and electronic sounds into her violin music, while also including dance elements into her performances, something which Carolina admitted to having influenced herself into taking ballet classes. As Sterling humbly told Carolina during their shared interview in The Kelly Clarkson Show in 2022, she also deeply admired her. I wish I could say you remind me of me when I was a kid, but you're so much more talented. Besides Sterling, Carolina has a list of singers she loves, including Mariah Carey and Celine Dion, but her absolute favorite is Whitney Houston, whom she described as awesome and having a beautiful voice during a question and answer season on YouTube. Nonetheless, she admitted to having a wide range of favorite songs, which helps her to constantly update her repertoire, so it's not far-fetched to think her music taste is quite varied. Despite her young age, Karolina Protsenko already has an idea of what she wants to do with her life. As she said during her 2022 interview with Kelly Clarkson, her plans for the future are bright. I want to travel the world with my concerts, playing violin and moving in costumes, and reaching more people. Although the time when she might be able to travel the world hasn't come yet, Karolina has undoubtedly been touching people's hearts for a while now. As seen in the many positive comments on her YouTube and Facebook pages, Carolina has also admitted to wanting to write her own music, and that goal is probably not so far away from her reach, considering the stage her career is at now. What does Carolina's future have in store for her? That's unknown, but for sure there's many people out there who want to continue on enjoying her music for many years to come, which seems like a sure bet. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.